All right, guys. So finally, this is part seven of your PowerPoint certification review project. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and finish this up. Um, you should be working in the sports equipment project. Um, if you haven't downloaded that yet, it is in the files uh, that I did send you right in here somewhere. Sports equipment project. Go ahead and open that up. And uh, <clears throat> you can see here it's it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a bunch of sports. Yeah. Configure the printing options to print three copies of the presentation with three slides per page. All copies of the first page should print before the second page. And this is number 53. All right, so this is all under the file tab. And let's go ahead and take a look at these printing options while we're here. Oh, if you haven't already, look at me working in Office 365. I'm so naughty. My god, here, file print. <clears throat> if you haven't downloaded this yet, download it to your desktop, all right? So there's only there's only like a handful of things that you can do. Let's start at the top. It wants three copies, so change this to three. Three slides per page. So instead of full page slides, we're going to say three slides per page. All copies of the first page should print before the second page. That's something called uncollated. Right here. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's how I like to say it. And that's how I've said it for years. So I'm not changing it now. Sorry. Um, all copy, and, and that's it, right? Um, and we're not actually going to print it. It just says configure printing. It doesn't say print. All right. So three slides per page. All copies of page one will print before copies of page two. That means when I hit print, I'm going to get three copies of page one, three copies of page two, three copies of page three. This is pretty handy for a teacher to use. That way you can just like print out um, stacks and have your kids take them, put them together in booklets for you. It saves you a little bit of work, especially if you're if the person in your production room doesn't do that stuff for you. All schools are a little different. All right. On slide two. <clears throat> Align the text. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take to the top of the text box and, align, and add the small caps effect. So this is what they're talking about here, right here. And again, see how I click in here and it's a, there's a dotted line around the text box? Click on that dotted line to select it and make it a solid line. That means you've selected everything in that text box, all right? Um, what are we going to do first? Let's do Home tab. Let's do the small caps thing first. Small caps is right here, all right? You're going to see this little um, font options box. I call it a chisel. I've always called it that. I think my first trainer, a little crazy, um, used to call it a chisel. So that's why I call it a chisel. You're going to notice that there's seven um, effects down here that aren't anywhere else in PowerPoint, all right? And they've been here forever. They're probably not going anywhere at this point. And they just want you to put a check where it says small caps and then it hit OK. And that's what it looks like right there. Now, we're going to go up here to the Drawing Tools Format tab, and we're going to say Align, and we're going to say Align Top. Oh, hang on. That's not right. Don't do that. I did that totally wrong. We need to go, I think it's under the Home tab. No. Hang on just one second. Okay, so that's tricky. That's a good, It's a good thing I caught that. So what this does right here, Drawing Tools Format tab, when you say Align, it's going to align the entire text box. That's not, not what the question's asking, although it's easy to interpret it that way, right? It's asking for the text to be aligned to the top of the text box, all right? So under the Home tab, you're going to see this thing right here that says Align Text, and you've got three options. Well, you've got more down here, but for the most part, it's going to be one of these three, and they want to stay top. It does not look like it's aligned to the top of the text box, um, but if you were to click and drag it, you would see, yeah, all right, or make it bigger, even though it's not, it doesn't want to move for me. So that's it right there. So don't get that confused. If they want you to align a text box, sure. It's right there. If not, it's going to be under the Home tab, under the Paragraph group right here, and it might actually say Align Text for you. All right, on slide three, what do we got here? Group all of the pictures on slide three. All right, so hold Control, select all of these pictures, and you're going to go to the Picture Tools Format tab, and you're going to say Group. Oh, or not. 
All right, so this one's acting a little weird, so be careful here. If you if you can't get the group thing to show up here because it's grayed out, just try selecting the baseball first and then the shoe and then this thing for some reason. I think it's a hockey puck. I don't know what that is. I didn't know nothing about sports. I'm sorry. Um, and then for some reason, you'll be able to actually group them together. And all that does is it allows you to kind of click and drag and move them as one image. Oh, look, I duplicated it. That might be why it wasn't grouping for me. Maybe it was. Let's see. Okay. Try it again. Nope. So now when I do baseball first, shoe, hockey puck? Weird. Huh. So it's because I duplicated it that allowed me to group it. Um, so if you guys don't know how to do that, <clears throat> you've probably done it by mistake. <laughs> so once you have all three pictures selected, if you hold control and click and drag one of the pictures, what you're doing is you're creating a copy of the pictures. And sometimes you mistakenly do that. Um, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and delete the pictures in the background. So by the time you guys see this, I don't think you'll have any. Yeah, this is a good learning. Maybe I'll leave it as a good learning, uh, learning option. I'm going to say group here right there and then what that allows me to do is just kind of scoot it as one picture and then if I want to I guess I can go in here and just delete these other images that I don't need anymore whoops not that one I need my hockey puck or whatever it is there and now I can just I guess bring these back like that but yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't let me group them before. Mm, I'll fix that. I'm wasting a lot of time for something. You guys probably won't even see. All right. Uh, in the file properties, set the title to preferred customer program. Easy. All right. So we're going to go to the file tab and properties. If you're adding properties, it's going to be on the right hand side and you're going to say show all properties. All right. Under show all properties, you're going to find title right here. And you're going to type in preferred customer program. Just like that. Um, there's no saving it or anything like that. Once you type it, it's automatically saved. All right. Um, so that's adding properties. If they ever want you to remove properties, and I always tell my kids that's a key word. Whenever you think the word properties, the first thing I want you to do is just go to the file tab. All right, because if you're adding properties, it's going to be over here. If you're removing properties, then what you're doing is you're checking for um, issues and you're inspecting the document for all of these properties and you're just removing like document properties and personal information. All right, so no matter what, the word properties, go to the file tab. All right, adding properties right hand side, uh, removing properties right here in the middle, check for issues. All right, so you might want to jot that down on your little notes sheet if you did print it um, on s delete slide five our sports product right here delete easy and then this one they want us to hide so right click and hide it and you know it's hidden because it kind of grays out over here and see this little slash through the number that means it's actually hidden all right I think that might be it yep all right <clears throat> if they ever want you to unhide a slide, there's no function that says unhide a slide. It's just right click and you would click hide slide again, just like that. All right. So um, that's kind of the end of this little test review, guys. I'm probably just going to put together uh, one more little mishmash um, review so that we can do that right before we test on Thursday. Um, so this is meant to kind of go along with Gmetrics. So if you're done with this, what I want you to do is jump into Gmetrics and practice, practice, practice. All right, Gmetrics is the closest thing you got to your actual test. Although, this is pretty close. This is pretty close. All right, guys, good luck.